What's up, it's your boy Groove Flea here, back with another video. And today, I'm letting y'all know how the F-150 is doing after 50,000 miles. So let's check it out. All right, y'all, so what you see behind me, this is my 2020 Ford F-150. Um, it just turned over about 47,000 miles. I'm not quite at 50,000, but the way I've been rolling, it's finna get there pretty soon, and I might as well go ahead and make this video now. Now, I bought the truck September 5th of 2020, and as of today, I've only had the truck a year and some change, and it's almost at 50,000 miles. So you can tell I've been rolling it. Um, it's held up well. I just want to go over some things, uh, more so powertrain, how the EcoBoost is held up after 50,000 miles in really one year, a year, a year and two months. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. So this is a truck right here. Um, it still, still looks good. Now, cosmetic wise, since I have been on the highway a majority of the time driving it, it has a lot of little imperfections in the front bumper due to the things hitting me on the road but as you can see the front bumper is uh is all rock chipped and, and rusted and things like that but the truck still looks good you know you gotta get I, I i think i'm gonna get something to take care of all of the paint chips and whatnot um but it has some battle scars it has some battle scars on the road you can see i got that nice little crack and it was a Ford on Ford Crime. It was an F-250 that actually put that crack in my windshield. Other than that, um, cosmetic wise, uh, I really haven't had any other issues. I mean, the truck is only a year old. Everything, all the all the power electronics still work. It's fine, really. It's a still rides good, still a good truck. Now, one thing about it, at around 30,000 miles, there are some pads back there. I'll put, it, I'll put a picture on the screen so y'all can see what I'm talking about there's some pads that go in between these leaf springs and they wear at around 30,000 miles. It's a common issue for the F-150s on the stock suspension and they clunk when, you, when you're at low speeds and you're turning into parking lots, they clunk. And it, it's, been, it's been doing that for a while, but as of recently, I haven't heard it at all. So I just <laughs> kept riding it and it just stopped. So I'm not, I'll change it if it does it again. With the replacement parts that's better than the uh, original but i haven't heard anything from it now as far as the engine operation goes how the engine's running after that amount of miles <laughs> in only one year uh, i know it's dirty i gotta clean it i gotta do a really good detail on this truck but um i have no complaints honestly like the power is good after having the eco boost i can say i will never I probably won't ever be able to go back to a GM 5.3 or 6.2 yeah. because I'm, I've gotten so used to how this delivers power and it delivers power so smoothly. Now, I haven't driven a 5.0 F-150, so I can't say, but I've driven both of the GM trucks and the EcoBoost is just it for me. I'm, I just enjoy the way it drives, so that's just my personal opinion. But otherwise, other than that, uh, aside from scheduled maintenance, it has to go in for uh, something else once once it gets cold outside that belt down in there starts to do this no god yep so it does that once it's cold and like pretty much once it gets out of a wet environment i took it through the car wash today and it started squealing once i crank it back up after uh wiping it off so i gotta take it in for the take it into the dealership for that um and that's really all I gotta do. I gotta get an oil change. That's really about it. it. It really just be driving. I just get my scheduled maintenance. So as far as the interior goes, cosmetically, I have no complaints, no issues. Um, it's, the truck is only a year old, so I wouldn't expect anything major to happen cosmetic wise, but the truck is still really clean. I like to keep my stuff clean anyway. Um, the seats, I am starting to see wear right here on this corner. As you can see, like, you know, sliding in and out of the truck. I do have uh, vertically challenged people that like to get in my truck. So, you know, that might come from them sliding out the seat or, you know, whatever. 
um it's no big deal though because i'm i plan on putting leather seats in this truck soon and i'll just get that repaired if need be when it when the time comes i'm not really too concerned about it but other than that uh there are no creaks no rattles when i'm driving down the road it is still like a very nice interior a very comfortable place to be especially on those long road trips and i really do appreciate that from ford um i added this by the way this is not stock i'm doing i'm doing another video about the interior mods that i have on this truck so stay tuned for that like comment subscribe but um yeah and this is this is not the cleanest you know my truck is not the cleanest because i wanted you guys to see that hey this is a real world review um i use my truck every day my truck the longest my truck has sat since i've had it was about a week if i'm not driving it or if i'm out of town my sister's most likely driving it so it's it's constantly in a rotation and it just handles the miles well it rides good on the highway um no issues with that now one thing i did want to mention though is the fuel mileage now i've heard a lot of people talk about the eco boost and are they really eco boost because this i'm not even gonna lie to you this truck is not that great on gas i mean it is a full-size pickup truck i average around 14 and a half miles to the gallon my last truck was averaging around 18 to 19 and that was a v8 i had the gmc sierra 5.3 motor um it was way better on gas than this i'm not even gonna lie to you but the fact that i don't look at the gas i don't look at how much uh the gas prices or anything like that the way i calculate my gas is if it get to get me where i got to go on the full tank then i'm straight <laughs> so i can make it to all my travel spots like i've been to this truck has been to dallas way too many times it's been in dallas a couple of times been to okc nashville um it's been quite a bit of places and i've been able to get there decently you know on a decent amount of gas and you know i ain't had no problem with it so it might burn more gas it ain't even on me none i love the truck so 50,000 miles still running strong no complaints i hope y'all enjoyed the video um anything that you see on my truck that you're interested in go ahead and throw it in the comments below um i can shoot over the links but well, it's gonna be a whole nother video so matter of fact yeah it's gonna be a whole nother video of what all i have on this truck what our customizations i have so go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button you don't want to miss what i got planned for this truck you don't want to miss the videos that i got planned coming out 2022 we up so uh y'all have a great new year start the new year off right like comment subscribe and we out